Hello everyone. In this video, we will talk about Python and my SQL database. Python can access database. One of the most popular database is my SQL. I'm using them. You can download it from this link. This link for Apache friends. We can download them from here. You can select the operating system, Windows, Linux, and download and install them. After install, we have to start the server. This is the icon for them. Open it. And we have to start Apache. And also start my SQL and go to browser and open it with local local host PHB my admin this is the databases for PH PHP my admin to work with Python Test my SQL connector. To install my SQL connector, use the command pip install my SQL dash connector dash Python. This, this is a statement to install my SQL connector. I already installed it. And we have to import my SQL dot connector as C O N N. Run the cell, already run. Create connection. To display all database using show databases statement. Create connection. My underscore db, it's a variable equal c o n n, which here dot connect and we have to put some parameters host user and password the host for my sql local host and user root and the password for the user space user root is the default user in my sql and you can create another user with another password Display all databases. My underscore SQL, this is variable equal. My underscore DB, this is the connection name which is defined here, dot cursor. Cursor is used to execute SQL statement. And my cursor, which is defined here, dot execute execute sql statement show databases show databases is a statement to show all databases is a system for x in my sql in my cursor my cursor this one print x this loop will print all the databases inside the my sql them you can see here this is the all database we will display these names through python but when we run this is the databases inside my sql then see this Create a database with name DB1. We will create new database. We can create new database by using SQL command create database statement. First, also we have to create the connection. CONN.connect, hostname, username, and password. My 
اندرسکور کرسور ایکوال مای دی بی دوت کرسور مای دی بی ایتس کنیکشن نیم دوت کرسور مای کرسور دوت اکسیکیوت اکسیکیوت اسکیوال کریت داتا بیز ویز نیم دی بی وان وی ویل ران دی سیل It's already created. But when we rerun this cell, the new database which created here with name DB1, it should be displayed here. We will run this cell. Now we have DB1. It's a new database which we created. Display tables in database DB1. To display the tables inside database DB1, we will use show tables. This is SQL statement. Create connection, host, user, password, and database name DB1, which created here. When we run this cell, nothing because there is no table inside DB1. We will create table with name employees inside DB1. To create table, we will use create table, it's SQL statement. Create a connection, post. Host name, user, password, database, db1. My underscore cursor equal my db dot cursor. db is a connection name. And we will execute the command to create table. My underscore cursor dot execute the SQL statement. Create table employees. This is the table name. And here, the columns inside the table. The first column with name ID. And auto increment primary key. What does this mean? It will create ID and incre increment it, increase one by one, and it is a primary key, unique key. And next column, M underscore name var character 200 and employee email var character 200 and employee underscore salary integer 10 and we will run this cell it's run successfully and now we have one table with name employees inside db1 when we rerun this cell to show the tables inside db1 we will see the new table employees it's employees we have one table with name employees inside database db1 now we will insert a single row into table. We will use insert into. This is SQL statement. First, we have to create variable my underscore db. It's connection with the same parameters. And also we will decla declare cursor. My underscore cursor equal my db connection name dot cursor sql statement equal insert into employees this is the table name and this is the columns inside the table which we insert the value for this columns three columns values percent s comma percent s comma percent s this is the value it's variable 
the values equal Kevin Kevin at hotmail.com and the salary 2000 MB name column will assign the value Kevin and M underscore email will assign value Kevin at hotmail.com and salary column will assign this value my underscore sql dot execute execute what sql it's the statement which you defined here comma val the values which defined here also after we run execute we have to commit my underscore db dot commit commit is using for saving the modification for database all changes in database will saved by using dot commit and print my underscore sql dot row count it will show me the number of rows which inserted into the table we will run the cell it's one inserted one row insert multiple rows into table we can insert more than one table row more than one row into the table in one statement but we have to use execute many method this one first we have to create table to create the, the connection to the same host user password and database my underscore cursor is my underscore db dot cursor and SQL statement it's the same last cell and the values more than one row four rows we have to put it inside square brackets it's list and the values and we can execute it my underscore cursor which you define here dot execute many in single row to inside single row we used execute but if we want to insert multiple rows we have to use execute many sql this is statement comma val this is the values and also we have to commit to save the change and the brand the row count we will run it the number of rows inserted four now we will select from table using select statements select all rows from the employees table using feature all methods for return all rows we will see here create a connection and my cursor equal my underscore db the connection name dot cursor to execute sql statement my underscore cursor dot execute select asterisk from employees asterisk it means we will select the all columns from table employees my underscore result equal my underscore cursor dot feature all feature all used to feature and select all columns from the table for x in my underscore result print x we will run this is the all rows in the table select the first row only from the employees table we will select the first row this one only we will use method feature one feature one will return the first row same the connection 
and define declare my cursor and execute select asterisk to select and get the all columns but my cursor dot each one it means we will select the first row only and print my result we don't need here to make for loop for loop if we have more than one rows but here we will select one each one the first row run this is the first row select one column only from the employees we will select here one column emp name select emp name from employees and my result execute each all we will select the emp name column for each rows each all and for loop and print x we will run this is the employee names only select with the filter using where also create the connection and my cursor equal my db connection name dot cursor my cursor dot execute select asterisk from employees where imp salary greater than 3000 we will select the rows which the salary greater than 3000 my result equal my cursor each all to get all rows and for x in my result here print x will run this is the rows which m salary greater than 3000 select to sort the result using order by create the connection and my cursor dot my db dot cursor declare cursor my cursor dot execute select asterisk from employees ordered by emp name it will sort the emp name my result equal my cursor dot fetch all to get all rows and the for loop to print the all result now it's sorted the name was sorted Amy, Hannah, Kevin, Peter, Sandy. Order by descending sort. The result will be in descending order. It's the same. But we have to put this your descending. The MB name here will be sorted descending. Run. It's descending. Sandy, Peter, Kevin, Hannah. M. select the limit result we can use limit and put the number of rows which we want to select now we will select only the first three rows select asterisk from employees limit three it will be print the first three rows and my result equal my cursor dot each all for x in my result print x we will run it will print only the first three rows now we will update table by using update statement now we want to update the salary for employee Kevin. We will create a connection my underscore db and declare cursor my underscore cursor equal my underscore db connection name dot cursor and 
we will create SQL statement SQL equal update employees table name set M salary equal 9000 where M name equal Kevin we have to make condition name equal Kevin if we will not put name equal Kevin with where it will update the salary for all employees but here we, we want to update the salary for Kevin only my underscore cursor dot execute SQL SQL statement which defined here and we have to commit my underscore db dot commit to save the changes and we will run this cell it's run successfully if we rerun this cell here the salary for Kevin already changed to 9000 delete row using delete statement also we have to create the connection and declare cursor and create SQL statement delete from employees table name where M name equal M and we will run the SQL statement my underscore cursor dot execute SQL and make commit to save the changes when we run it's run successfully if we rerun we will not see Amy here now M is here but when we rerun the cell Amy already deleted delete table we can delete existing table by using drop table it will delete the table create the connection and also declare my cursor and the SQL statement drop table employees drop table name and my underscore SQL dot execute SQL SQL statement which defined here so when we run it's successful if we want to make select from the table when we rerun this cell you will see nothing the table is not exist this is introduction for Python and my SQL and I will put the link in video description for installing my SQL and also I will put the link for this Jupyter notebook in video description you can download it and follow it step by step thanks for watching and I hope this video was useful for you if you like this video, please consider subscribing and I hope to see you in next video.